Yo, what is going on everyone? It's David Palmer, the Leo King, on a cold Saturday for me. It's my day off, first day off in a while, and I thought we'd talk a little pre-eclipse. We also are going to cover the Leo King app contest and bug fix update. Some people had some bugs. Good news is we got some raid on those bugs. Um, and I'm actually, believe it or not, right now in the park that I grew up my whole childhood from uh, 1 to 18. This is where I hung out. Why don't we show them everybody? This is my, my old middle school. This is where I went to middle school. And behind that is where I went to elementary school. This is where I used to play t-ball when I was a kid. You know, that was the big kid uh, baseball field. And then, uh, you know... All, all these, you know, this is where I used to have to run what's called the 10 minute. When you're in middle school, you have to run for 10 minutes. And so when the teacher's not looking, we cut, you know, because you'd have to go from, you'd have to start from the blacktop over there, and then you'd have to run all the way around the baseball field, run all the way to that wall, and then run where those dudes are over there, and then come around this thing was called the green belt. Now it's actually a sidewalk, and then run around the corner, right? Well, when the teacher wasn't looking, that's when you dip it all the way in here, and you'd have to come back all the way around that side, and you dip it, and we come back, you know, cut corners. Of course, you get in trouble, but it was fun. Anyway, do we got people in the room now? 159, 161. We got some people up in here. So I'm hanging out in the past. A lot of Pisces and what this solar eclipse about is is the past the past you and there's also a, a present part of you that's facing the past so it's kind of a weird thing whenever you deal with Pisces sure you could say it's the past it's usually visions of the past but it's weird that you're in a present moment going through your past you know this is a pre-eclipse is the dark moon happening right now um, where the moon is what we call waning out and it's at its balsamic phase and the, the eclipse is getting ready to happen I mean literally in about almost 12 hours. I think we're uh, 15 hours away from the eclipse. It actually starts beginning at about 13. So, you know, I think people can kind of feel in the air today. There's a lot of kind of, uh, you know, it's a little quirky, odd. Last thing I thought I'd be at today is uh, at my old middle school where I hung out as a kid. Flying drones today. We're flying the drones. And, uh, I'm going to film a video for the app and for YouTube. But, you know, it's a weird time. There's a lot of releasing. There's a lot of letting go. There's a lot of facing deep parts of your past, good and the bad. You know, one thing about Pisces is it, it highlights both. It highlights the good and the bad. So for me, this is a good thing. There wasn't too many bad things that happened to me here. But um, there's also a part of, you know, I can speak for myself, but I can also speak uh, as far as astrology goes that this is a time where you also have to kind of face your own inner shit, your own inner demons, your own, you know, inner stuff that maybe you don't want to face. Maybe you think it'd be easier to go backwards to a place you know you shouldn't go. This is where, you know, people tend to on a dark moon do very hasty, negative, have bad thoughts about things that really are probably a positive thing. I've had some of the worst moments of my life, believe it or not, happen on a moment like right now, like on the dark moon right before the solar eclipse because I chose to go backwards or I chose to make a huge leap. I mean, it's a very, there's always this really crucial moment right here where you really start to determine whether you're gonna go into a direction or not or you're going to pull out of something and back out. And there's a lot of um, that going on right now, especially when you're dealing with Mars conjuncting Uranus right now, there's this like, oh boy, the courage to go into the future. With Jupiter opposing it, ooh, there's this huge future aspect at the same time, but you gotta like face your past, you gotta have uh, a lot of courage right now. I think that's extremely important right now is to have that courage because it's, 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 a, it's a courageous thing to let go of your past. It's a courageous thing to try a new future. It's a courageous thing to, you know, go out and to, a new life and try a new direction and, and not do what's comfortable. It's not, it's not simple. And actually you might come back to where you once were 
and realize there's not nothing left there for you. So good example. I'm here. This is my old middle school. I went to my old locker where I got dumped for the first time from this chick. It sucked. I'll be honest with everyone. I was just like, ugh. I walked by it and I was like, ugh. It brought back a bad memory. But also there's another part of it where it's like, sure, of course, of course I should feel like I'm at home, right? Like I'm back at where I grew up as a kid. Like I made out with a chick right here at this tree. I remember when they built this mound to put these trees up. I No joke. I remember when half these trees, we planted a bunch of these trees when I was a kid, right? And uh, I literally right here hooked up with this chick. She's beautiful, 12 years old. But I don't have anything left here. This is the past. These, these walls remember me. Like the, the, the tree obviously remembers me probably. You remember me, dude? Like, I'm back. But there's nothing for me here now in where my future's going and everything that I'm doing and all the places that I'm going into in my life. So this is a big moment for everybody to go, holy cow, sure, you could go back. You could go backwards right now. You could go back to a place that you've been before. You could do things in cycles over and over again, but you're, you might get there and realize with a south node in Pisces and a solar eclipse in Pisces, there, it's empty there. There's nothing there. I mean, I walked by the, the locker and I was like, okay, yeah, you know. But it was, there's still, you know, nostalgia is something that comes along with um, Pisces. But when the South Node's there and with North Node and Virgo, the nostalgia, it doesn't offer as much as it usually does. Now, there will be probably in eight or nine years when the South North Node comes into Pisces and... I guarantee you I'll come back here and what will I be? I'm 32, so I'll be 41, 42, and I'll take my, you know, fiance or here or whatever, or maybe I'll take my kid here, and I'll be like, dude, look, at this is where I grew up, you know, I kissed one of my first girls at that tree right there or something, right? And you know what? It'll be a real powerful nostalgia moment. But right now, that whole aspect of the past is something that it teaches us, but it, it's empty right now. The future is where we must go and it's gonna take courage and we're gonna to have to go into new grounds. We're gonna to have to go into letting go of our comfortable, shitty things that don't work out good for us anymore. And I think that's something that's gonna be kind of highlighted right now on this uh, solar eclipse. So regarding the Leo King app, Number one, the contest is still going on for the, the, for the reviews, and I appreciate everybody who sent them. There's like 108. The problem is we had bugs with the app. So the app is being updated and is submitted to Apple because some people with older phones are complaining that the app's crashing on them. So it's called bug fixes. I'm sure you've seen it whenever you've updated an app, it'll say bug fixes. So the new app's gonna come out this week and it's gonna have bug fixes and all those reviews are gonna be erased. So the, the contest is going on for next Friday or whenever the new app comes out and I'll pick next week or whatever. So there's a delay in that, but the good news is I'm fixing everybody who has problems with the app and I'm still continuing the contest for somebody to win and I'm still counting all the 108 people that had submitted that, I've got them all. So, but if you, you know, Long story short, it won't show up though on the new uh, review. So I'm gonna have to wait for the new app and the bug fix. So it was just, it's just like, you know, eclipse time, shit happens. It's Pisces time, shit happens. And there's something about Pisces that, you know, some people call it roadblocks. Some people come to the end of their rope. So there's the little feelings of that. And then you like lie to yourself and go, no, no, I'm not at the end of my rope. And then you have that moment where you're like, I'm at the fucking end of my rope, man. And then you go, no, no. And then you, you find a good way to get out of it. And that's the whole thing is Pisces is the crazy seas, right? So at one moment, the sea's calm. You're on the boat. Everything's cool. And then the next minute, you're ready to throw up and heave. And the waves are coming. And, oh, my, are we going to get through this little area? And then the, the seas calm down. You can't ever know. There's no weather forecast for the seas. The seas have the, a, a mind of their own. The seas have a depth of mysteriousness that you can't understand. And so at every moment you might think, well, shit's really going south right now. And then literally within one millisecond that you're thinking that it's all gonna end, 
it flops and everything's beautiful and great. That's the whole thing about when you have a storm, right? A storm comes in and it looks like it's horrible and it's taking down stuff and then there's that beam of light that shows up, which actually shows that, look at it, there's a beam of light, there's beams of light coming through right now, you know? And so I think like, you have to remember that with these kind of a solar eclipses, especially in this area, you're gonna have, you know, the t t and then, oh my gosh, all right, it's okay, you know? And then, you know, over-optimism of, because Jupiter rules Pisces just as much as Neptune does. So you have the, the over-optimism of fantasy, like, oh, it's gonna all go so great, I'm doing all this shit. And then, you know, Mars right now comes on top of Uranus and kind of f fully understands, well, holy cow, this is what's gonna, this is what it's gonna take. Am I gonna be able to actually do it? So vision meeting courage is something that this eclipse is covering probably one of the most, is vision meeting eclipse. Vision meeting courage. Vision meeting, I have to actually do this shit. I have to actually put my money where my mouth is. I have to actually trust, I have to actually surrender to my own courage and strength and, and, and trust in my abilities. And that's gonna be what's coming in the future after this eclipse is Taurus. You know, a lot of people aren't talk, thinking about the future yet. The one thing about right now, whenever you come up to an eclipse and an eclipse in Pisces with Neptune coming up, because the sun right now is heading towards Neptune. Imagine Neptune being this camera. Here's the sun. And imagine this being the moon right now, okay? So as the eclipse is coming, we're slowly coming towards Neptune. The eclipse happens, right? Blocks the sun out. And then the moon's gonna pass over Neptune. And then days later, we're finally gonna be on top of Neptune. And then we'll pass through next week. So the truth is, is from here's Saturday, Sunday's the eclipse. Here's Monday, Tuesday on Neptune. Wednesday, we're finally, I mean, we're still on top of Neptune, right? And then Thursday, we're a little off. So up this next week, from that till Thursday, we have to get through this obstacle, okay? It's, 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 right, it's dead on, all right? Like, I cannot move, I can't go around this thing, you know, and there, it's a veil. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's blocking the view of the future. So even though you have visions of it, there's still a fear of like this huge blanket around what's coming up next, what direction things are gonna go, uh, irrational fears that people have that the world's gonna end or, you know, this is not right. Uh, did we, I've ta you know, guys, you know, I always talk about deception and the deception and the, the cover. We don't know what's behind the facade of all this. We got to actually go through this. We got to like, you know, literally go through the, the lens, you know, and actually then like see through and go inside. You know, there's this, the, the, there's this part where we have to go in, into it all. And that's what this eclipse is really about right now. When you, when you kind of take this on a longer or a higher look at it all in a, in a weird sense. So, like it's weird because even though I'm here in my past telling you this right now, like who would have ever known when I was literally right here, see where this little turn is or this little sidewalk, okay? I used to ride my bike here when I was a kid. And I was here with my brother. There used to be a tree right there, okay? And there used to be a stump with a tree, and that was a ramp. And we used to ride that thing, and we used to jump it. And one day, it was my dad, my brother, and I. We were riding, and we stop right there. And my brother takes off his helmet, and a bee lands in his helmet, right? He puts the helmet back on. He gets stung by the bee. And then my brother is allergic to bees, so his whole face starts to swell up, and we have to take him to the hospital, right? I'm like five years old, six years old. But I would have never known at that moment in my life that 25, 26 years later, I'd be sitting here right now doing this video and the shit that I'm doing or even having a cell phone that would take a video and have a drone that would do all, you know, like there's, there's, there's no way to be able to see, you know, but sometimes you have to go and look back at the past and to, to help you see where you've gone, where you've come from and what you've built upon. And there's a lot of that happening right now with this eclipse is 
the nostalgia aspects remind you of where you're going and where you are and where you're gonna go. But when you go back there to feel it, I can't feel for some reason, there's a hollowness of like, I can't feel, it's a good story, but, I, but there's something that, there's a stronger pull towards reality and the present right now than there is the past. And there's times where the past will be, you know, where we're gonna wanna live for a while. But right now, if you try and live in your past, it ain't gonna do really well. It ain't gonna, it's not gonna sit you right. That's why people are on so many drugs right now, is they're actually trying to relive their past. They're trying to relive the feelings that they are not currently experiencing right now. That's a big part of what's going on right now uh, with the drugs and the Neptune aspect, right? And that we're coming full circle into this. It's pretty intense. So, what else do I gotta say? I think that's all I gotta really say. But um, it's cold out here. It's about to rain soon. So I, I uh, you know, not the funnest <laughs> eclipse. And we can't see the eclipse in the Northern Hemisphere. You know, it's so weird that even though on sunrise in California and even on the East Coast, you know, it'll be happening. But because of wherever we're at trajectory rise, we're not going to be able to see it. So it yeah, sucks. But I will be doing spiritual dance music tomorrow uh, about 11 a.m. Pacific is when I'm planning to do it. So get ready. We're going to do a spiritual dance music uh, new moon ceremony tomorrow, Sunday. It's going to be a little bit like church. So if you're wanting to join me for that, I'm going to do a little sermon at the beginning. And then um, I'm going to go into spiritual dance music. And then, uh, yeah. Then, of course, all the app stuff coming next week. So... Join me on the Leo King app. You can get it on Apple or you can get it on Android. And of course, you can get it on the website, theleokingapp.com, if you want to get it on the web. But you can watch it on your computer or you can watch it on your Windows phone by going to leoking.lookstack.com. Thanks so much for all the support. I hope you guys all have a good eclipse. This will be the last time that you see me uh, live-wise before the eclipse. And uh, I'm wishing you all the best through your own nostalgia moment. I hope you're having a good weekend going through it. Ironically enough, I'm sitting here where I grew up. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.